Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your instructor for this MS 700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Microsoft Teams meetings and conferencing. Once you have set up Teams, channels and application within Microsoft Teams, the next step you can take is to add and customize the meeting settings and policies for audio conferencing, video, and sharing. There are different types of meetings that you can create in Microsoft Teams, depending on the nature of the meeting. Private meeting, channel meeting, and ad hoc meeting or meet now. In private meeting is when you want to have a meeting with individual people, but you do not want the meeting to be visible to others. Channel meetings are scheduled in Teams team. All team members are automatically invited and will have access to discussion and recording. Ad hoc meeting is when you want to meet immediately at the current point in time without previously scheduling a meeting. Let's explore meeting policies. With meeting policies, you can permit and or restrict features that will be available to users during the meeting and audio conferencing. You must first decide if you are going to customize the initial meeting policies and whether you need multiple meeting policies. Then you must determine which group of users receive which meeting policies. Finally, you must determine whether your organization must purchase and deploy room system devices for your conference rooms. Let's understand the licensing concepts. Audio conferencing licenses are available part of Office 365 East. Audio conferencing licenses are available as part of Office 365 E5 subscription or add-on licenses to an existing subscription. As you plan for audio conference licensing, you must determine whether your organization is going to use Microsoft Teams live events. If the answer is yes, then you must determine who will be responsible for reporting and monitor usage. With Teams live events policies, you can manage event settings for groups of users. According to your organizational requirement, you can either continue to use the default policy or you can create additional policies that can be assigned to users who hold live events within your organization. Let's understand transcription service. During a meeting, users can optionally record the meeting and group calls as well as capture audio, video and screen sharing activity. In addition, recording can be automatically transcribed which will enable the users to play back meeting recordings with closed captions and search for important discussion points in the transcript. To automatically transcribe a recording, you must turn on meeting transcription service. Now that we have understood from a high level point of view meeting and conferencing in Microsoft Teams, let's go and explore how to configure conference bridges in the next lesson. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.